yo, yo. That's how we set it up. That's right. Every single fourth Monday, we're going to lower it down because the DJ is tearing it up on the ones and twos. We're warming up for you tonight. It's the Oracle Edition B-Side Show. I'm Danny K. Bad Day Killer. Killer. Hey, Danny. We're here every single Monday night. Tonight's the Oracle Edition. Let's run it. That's right. That's how we're going to get down with another dope lineup. He creates in the building. He's going to... Tear it up with the aerosol art. We got Rocket Parsons in the building. Oh, yeah. We're we getting live shit tonight. Yes, we are. Yeah. Chicharrones. They That's are right. right off a tour. They're going to rock it with us tonight. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Phono compilation with DJ Dark Vader, a.k.a. Job Blues. That's who you hear cutting it up in the background, man. That's Job Blues right there. So let's get into it with DJ Dog Blues. He's gonna show you what's up with the ones and twos. B side. <laughs>
out right now. ones and twos getting it in off the latest project that he just dropped that's right we about to talk about it let's lo- let's lower it down just a little get the ambiance just right you hear the crowd they hella hype because tonight is a stack show y'all can create in the building on that live aerosol artist tip we got brock and parsons we already said she tried on us are gonna do their thing but first and foremost DJ Job Blues, a.k.a. Dark Vader. You don't want to stop working. You, you know you got to talk on the mic now, right? right yes, dog? yes. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. He's ready. He's ready. What's up, my brother? Check one, two. Yeah, oh, you sound good. good. How does it work? <laughs> Word. What up, what up, what up? <laughs> my name is DJ Job Blues, the new host of B-Side. That's oh, right. Yeah, new host with the most. We just gotta get that volume down just a little baby bit because it's an ambiance. Right it's an ambiance. There you go. Can you please turn the music down? Yeah, I got it, bro. <laughs> oh, that's you. He's gonna take his hat off and put his other hat on. I got this. Yeah. Hey, Job Blues, you've, you've done projects, um, producer, uh, DJ, and all that. But let's talk about this latest one you just dropped. Um, in October. October. I just dropped Fono in October, on October 24th. And Phono means a little more in this situation. Talk and, about uh, it. It was an honor to work with uh, DJs on there. I had uh, legendary Mark Love. I had uh, DJ Swamp from DMC World Finals. That's right. Um, I had DJ FM. 
DJ Habit, DJ Word, DJ Psychopath, and Seedless. And DJ Seedless. Ooh, ooh. Oh, an FM. Did you say I that? He said, said FM. Oh, all right. My bad. Don't mind, Rabbit. <laughs> the aerosol is getting to yeah, his head. You know. But it's okay. It's I, all that's right. That's when I'm, fi- I'm really in my zone now. Yes. Honestly, it's a, like, it, it, was, it was really dope to do. Like, this is a project I've been wanting to do for years. Is a scratch project. Because my first element is DJing. That's what I like to do is scratch, uh, blend, mix. So what I did is I put some break beats together. Gave these DJs an assignment. So, like, I gave it to them, and, and I'm like, okay, see what you could do with this, and put your sauce on it, and send it back to me, and then I'm going to either finish it or start it. And they were like, cool. They were down. And they came with some amazing stuff. It was a dope collaboration. Um, I mean, man, we got creative. Like, if you check out Nerd from the one that DJ FM kicked off, like, there's a whole storyline to that, that track. But it's all DJ work. So... Just to let you know kind of the creativity behind it. Then there's like, then we have another DJ who did all wax. All, nothing, no Serato. He, he mixed and talked. He had a conversational scratch piece all done with vinyl. And that's, that's hard. That hasn't, you know, that's... Did, besides, you know, obviously that's one of the things missing in the market right now. But why'd you feel necessary to accent on the DJs and the scratch and all that, man? Yeah, I mean... I mean, you know, the scratch is the element. Like that's right. And and a lot of that is almost disappearing in the mainstream. Like they don't add DJs to it. It is important. Like that's like the violin Real of the orchestra. Talk. It's Real a lost talk. art because even if they do say they're DJs, they don't have the actual art of the turntablist down right. like you guys do. Right. And 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 a lot of them they have like button pushing cuts and. Um, Ironically, we have a little display on that on the last track. And, and they did that on purpose to show you the difference. So Whoa. if you look at the number eight, there's button scratching where he's actually hitting the button and he's doing like transforming and stuff with it. So I have like almost like from then and now in that project. So you can see all the variants and styles of scratches from crabbing to transforming to chirping to like every, every detail. Like and... That's one. It, it happened accidentally. Like I didn't really plan it. It was like it was kind of cool. Like because the DJ just brought brought what they brought, and those elements kind of like naturally happened. But that but that's what you wanted, right? The DJs to add their what they exactly, do. Exactly. Yeah. Like I, I gave them the opportunity. I'm like, just do your sauce, do something what you want to do. Get creative as you possibly can, and, and and I'm like, send it to me. So what I did is I, I didn't battle any of, the, any of these guys. On these tracks, is, it's not a battle. I'm not trying to outshine them in any way. It, it was me just complimenting them. So, for example, like, if, if the track had a storyline, I kept to that. If it was a certain style of scratch, I tried to keep to that. You know what I mean? So it's all complimentary. It's so, a dance. Exactly. That's so I'm, beautiful. I'm dancing with them. You know what I mean? So let's dance. Well, well so, and see... And sp- I'm glad you spoke on that because that it's one of the main elements of hip hop is the DJing, and like you said, sometimes it gets lost a little bit in the sauce, the actual creativity that the DJ brings and the all that, the background, all that stuff. Exactly. But you kind of incorporating that also with storylines and shit in your in your album yeah, that you dropped. Exactly. Like we have conversational. It's called conversational scratching. That's crazy. So it's not like. It's not just cutting it up all the way. Like there's like, just for an example, you go one, two, three, and then you got another scratch that says like, I'm here, I'm ready. Like, and it's a whole sentence. And these DJs put that together. Like, and then there's like also another thing. You bring in comedy lines, skits, to add to that story. So this DJ is not just necessarily scratching. It's mixing, it's blending, it's getting creative overall. Like, like, we bring it to that we bring those elements to the to the, you know to the, to the track i love how you guys pick stuff that speaks to the audience it's so called phono it was so dope that phono track or the phono album the compilation is really dope um we got to preview it we aired it on 101.5 fm which was That's really right. dope now it's streaming on all platforms yep. but the dope one of my favorite parts that had me rolling was the nerds Oh, yeah. ogre? Was that ogre? It was actually the coach. 
<laughs> oh, okay. You know? He's like, look, I'm a, I'll tell you a little snippet. Like, DJ FM sent me back his track, and he put the, you know, the, the time machine, the hot tub hot time tub machine. Hot tub time machine. And he, the dude's like singing, you're a nerd, you're a fucking nerd, right? So he put that in the bridge because I put an R&B bridge in there to throw FM off. Hilarious. I threw him off. I'm like, let me challenge this dude. Let me see what he comes with. And he came with that, bro. When I got that back, I was like, wow, man. Like, I, he had me stumped. I was like, I didn't even know what I was going to do. So I, then, I did, then, then I said, you know what? Let me do the flip side. There's a nerd and there's an asshole. So I did the asshole side. So... <laughs> So there are stories within the stories yeah, right so there. so if you hear that track, there is a storyline, and it ends with the asshole. So I love it. Yeah. Nerds! Thank you so much for putting together such amazing compilation. Um, we you. have more coming, right? You're not going to leave us with just one? No, we've already started Phono 2. Perfect. And, uh, and uh, also started a third thing that's connected to Phono. I love it. Which I'm going to tell you, it's called Producer's Ball. Perfect. I have producer friends. I make beats, but now I'm telling my producer friends, send me a beat. I'm going to cut it up on there. Nice. And give the, the producer the little shine. And I told them to challenge me. I love I it. I, I like me. that. The challenge within the art, man. Yeah, it's it's yeah. all part of the. That's uh, how I'm going to get better, man. That's so dope. You know I mean? Let them know how they can follow you and, you know, give some shout outs again to the DJ so we can give everybody a follow. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, start Mark Love, Mad Respect, Honor. Thank you so much for being part of the project. I want to say that straight up. What up, Mark uh, Love? I wish he was in the building so I could tell him in person in front of camera because he deserves that respect. We got DJ Swamp. Thank you. I want to thank him for jumping on this project. That was really dope of him. He's a busy cat. Um, we have DJ FM. We have DJ Habit, my old friend. We got DJ Word, another old school friend of mine. And we got Soundwave, the bad man. My day one dude, the first dude I started DJing house parties with and making beats out of the garage. That's what like, bad at. Yeah, I got my I got my roots in this, so um, so I'm not that much of an asshole. I still keep in touch with my old friends. <laughs> That's beautiful. They so, still they it. still answer your calls. That's a good sign. Yeah. I, think I must have done something right. Yeah, right. Yep. And he is DJ Dark Freighter, aka Job ja Blues, and Seedless is on there as well. So right. it is a really dope project. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for chopping it up and cutting it up. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, man. Make, you are the iron sure chef tonight. It's tap, always fun being here. I, I, mad respect. Mad tap, respect. tap into that project, man. It's 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 the essence. You know, the backbone of hip hop. From the, the beats to the scratching and, and, like he said, telling stories within the story. So thank you for that, Job ja, ja Blues. We appreciate you, you, man. Perfect. We're going to check out a video real quick. This one is by the Chicharones. They are coming up next. So we are going to go ahead and play a song called Burn It Down. Check it out, Check it out. Oracle Edition. Or Be Great to meet you. I'm starving. Let's go get some pizza. I hate close talking. In ear yelling, volumes spell with beer swelling. The well drinks and well wishing. All this beer spilling and bell ringing. We built up a legend, travel better with style. The people did us wrong, they regretting it now. Everybody helping out, cause we community bound. And the teachers working out is like everybody's winning. And you will always be humble. It's a gift we've been given. Take everything in stride, take a room and up, lift it. We give, you give, you love, we love to give back. We are, you are the reason. I was you in the front row, just dreaming, getting lost in the news and letting all my troubles leave me. It's true. If you're still dreaming right now, I'm you. We all went together underneath this roof.
I chased and chased, but not for nothing. I stumbled a couple times, but still I'll make the finish line. I promise I'll get it. I'll never forget that I couldn't have done it without you. I live it, I rep it, I feel it in my bones. Been turning over stones, looking for a place to bury my palm before it buries my soul. Wait a minute, on a bit of an amazing journey. Whenever the finish, gonna get an independent with a couple of friends we win. I've never had anything, still I have everything, and I'll never let down the people who believe or depend on me. I was so you in the front row, just dreaming, getting lost in the news and letting all my troubles be me. It's true, if you're still dreaming right now, I'm you. We all want together underneath this roof. What time should I call? Well, I usually wake up around noon. Me too. We're the early bird crew. I don't think anything can stop us with this kind of determination. Plus, we got patients like a hundred nurses waiting. No immigration problems, I'm a duty. One of these days, our lives will be like the movies. I was you in the front row, just dreaming, getting lost in the news and letting all my troubles be me. It's true. If you're still dreaming right now, I'm you. We all want together underneath this roof. around. The real deep down you is the whole universe. Yeah, man, Oracle Edition, B-Side Show. Yes, yes, I'm right here with Monday. the Bad Day Killer right here. Thank you to my brothers, B, Mr. Shea Whitey, the man behind the curtain, and yeah. of course, my co-host, Rabito, yes, for right. giving me the reins every single fourth Monday to curate a beautiful all-element streaming party for y'all. Tonight, we had Create in the building. He's putting together an amazing little mini mural here, and you're going to see a lot more work from him. If you Google him, you'll see a ton of stuff he's already done, but he's only begun, y'all. So much more to come. I have a microphone here for him and i hope i can tear him away from this piece for just a quick he's second in the zone right he now. is really in the zone he's using different shades of gray right now to signify the rose growing from the concrete like tupac said you know you tried to bury me you didn't realize i was a seed and that's what's happening right now with this dope rise mural so king create is in the building and we just want him to say what's up really quick if you're interested in getting some commissioned work from him i want him to to let you know where you can reach out to him he's got a full-on resume he has a ton of murals throughout the city we're also talking about mural restoration and getting some stuff up on some college campuses for everybody to enjoy so check this out this is a beautiful piece that he's just about done with took him a little under three hours i'd say from from start to finish and uh let everybody know what's up with you and and also artists too maybe if an artist is doing a show a concert or a tour you you do that as well yeah most definitely there's so much going on actually i just came back from dallas texas and i just came back from the bay i've been painting all around and being part of different events uh, representing the aerosol art club 
So it's definitely been a pleasure and an honor. I am in some upcoming shows, I'm not gonna lie. My brain right now is in so many different places. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like a fool to try to remember the dates and the places. But um, definitely I have a show coming up at Overspray. And then I have another show. It's in South LA. I just have to remember right now, I've been painting without a mask on. Yes, so. we've, hey. all, we've all been enjoying oh, the, the beautiful you. vibe of right the aerosol art. Overspray is in Pomona. I forgot where I live. Overspro is Overspro. Overspray is in Pomona on Mission Boulevard, I believe. And um, it's on Holt. Thank you so much. It's on Holt. Maybe Holt and White. I don't know. It's somewhere around there. Okay. It's on Holt. Struck and, um, so Yeah, right? It's seriously. Shout and out to uh, Brick for the other show. Like I said, forgive me. Oh, it's called Slaps. That's what it's called. There we go. Called there we slap. go. That's I had to think. I was like, man, I've been painting for so long in the fumes. But anyway, that's no excuse. I'm here live and direct. <laughs> At B Side Show, you know what I'm saying live and direct in the flesh at my best over here representing. Get and, uh, down, man. How can they follow you? Y'all can follow me on Instagram on IG as King K I N G underscore C R E number eight. Follow me on there. I have some items for sale. Inbox me. You could uh, ask me for commission work. I do logos. I do custom paint and jean jackets. I have t-shirts, I have custom graffiti uh, or aerosol, um, like uh, what you call those, storage containers, oh, billboards, like little miniature stuff with pieces on it, and miniature trains, so hit me up in the inbox, I also do workshop, private workshops for one-on-one -on -one sessions and group sessions, and on that note, this is your boy, the one and only, the grand, incredible, King Create from South Central Los Angeles, representing the the nation, West Coast artist, TMT. And last to survive, I'm in the building. Beautiful, right. thank you so much. Make sure you guys hit him up for that work, man. Do that. He's also giving back to the community and helping uh, young artists aspire to what they want to be. So uh, thank you for that, yes. Create. We appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you being in the building. Yeah. If you're an artist and you need an element like this on your show, yo, hit him up. Let him know that you're down for it, and he will show up. He's very professional, gets it done actually really quickly if he's doing something on stage he did something with iced tea recently and another thing for battle cat and he has it pretty much prepared so he just does the last finishing touches so if your set is only 10 15 20 minutes he'll have it done don't trip so that's dope on don't that note trip. we are about to get into our next segment y'all it's hey. gonna be dope chicharron is in the building yeah man and you heard so you heard yes, some yes cool ass keyboard playing right there in the yep, background that we'll was explain Brockett, more. Brockett Parsons, Parsons. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll be speaking more uh, after this next uh, video we'll be right back let's get it y'all what's up man Time to get dirty. Right, right. <laughs> All right. So this is the juice crew right here. All right. Do what you will. <laughs> okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to do the walls. Why we got some sunlight? Because he, he wanted to capture me by doing a piece where they could watch. Work. And then after that, I'm gonna come and do a. Is there any lights right here? Or we can set up lights. We got lights. Set up lights. Set up. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm gonna come back and do a live, uh, quick little lecture. For sure. And then they can ask me questions and all that. And then uh, if we got a little bit more time, I could like do. Uh, hands on a few of them if they want to I go to the wall and show them some techniques. Yeah, they itching the paint, so yeah, they, they like that man for sure. Okay, yeah, sounds man. good. So yeah, I got a crate for you and uh, I'll bring it out right now. Okay, sounds Where's good. It? See, a little nice basket. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we got pretty much iron lats. Iron lat. Okay. Uh, you got the universal caps? Yes, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll rock with those. All right. Any rider should be able to work with any kind of cap that come with the can and pull off any kind of skills. It's not about the caps, it's about your technique, it's about your style. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm going to sketch it out and I'm going to go ahead and go for it. I'm going to do a simple style piece because uh, because of the time.
lot of my style comes from within and my attitude and my personality. And that's one thing that's key when it's time to do any type of piece. You have to bring out some personality into your artwork. be one of the pieces that when, when they leave the yard or wherever they looking at your pieces that uh, whether they looking at it live and direct face to face or if they on the internet or wherever they looking at a book you want them to say man you got to see this piece this piece is one of the, the freshest cleanest pieces around Christmas carry. I'm running straight out of Nagin. Been drinking all night with ice cubes. From a crew called Carolers with attitudes. Got my long charms and my gloves on. When the dinner comes, bodies all hauled off. You too, boy, if you care with me. Bring the slugs about Santa in your chimney to your pad. That's how we're going out. Wind proof candles never blowing out. Songs never mumble. Cookies crumble. Get invited to your house for a gumbo. Christmas songs to everybody like that Amazing grace, that's dropping in your face So give it up smooth, singing Ave Maria yeah, We deck in the halls too Here's a Christmas rap, keep your heads nodding With the track, you can like Bing Crosby Yo Santa, what's the sound of my tool? Now you know I'm about to act a fool Should we see Felice, not be dumb, maybe I'm packing presents in a box, daily Playing weekly, monthly and yearly Singing joy to the world so clearly And I'm down to sing about that old Christmas tree, walk the hero angels sing When I'm in your neighborhood, bring the mugs out Can teach your roads, can't damn sure, chuck them down As a lead book, leave I'm stopping When I'm going home, I'm running straight out of night Hey yo Josh, yeah. tell him what you're out of I'm Straight out of noggin I ain't chugging the cheap shit You wanna make it yourself, but I suck on the sheep shit Hopping this toboggan up, down, I'm up, blitzing Let's go to the stove, get some rum, get blitz It's up, up, away, knocking so great This frothy nutmeg is the gateway Ruthless, when I be knocking, knocking back Shoot, you better pray I get me some noggin Where it's at, why you gonna drink this down without rum? What is eggnog? By definition, it's elf cup But hell, don't let a little thing like that Stop you from your annual drink and bite back If you're at the show or in the front row Throw off the Jack Frost, let it snow, let it snow I don't wanna sing no Christmas songs Here's a flag I'm the Jewish ghost of Christmas past At the table, sucker back snacks and crackers Double dip deli wrap, mouth full of pastry This is the high toe biography of EGG to the N-O-G-G You think I'm stupid? No, this brother will smother Big top snack, till I'm straight out of noggin Oh, yeah. 
Oh, oh shit, we're live. <laughs> yo, yo, we are in the building with none other than the... Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, her own sound Los effects. Chicharrones. Chicharrones. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, let them know your names, man. Running down the line. I come from uh, from Canada. I'm Josh Martinez. That's right. I'm Sleeping Bull Dominion. We got Brocket Parsons in the building. And DJ Zone on the ones and twos. For the one. Yeah. Hey, you, well, you can tell we're all still vibing. Like we, yes. we forgot it was an interview. We're it's just a like, vibe. Yeah. It's a vibe. It's totally. Hey. A- King Create, thank you so we much for coming Rocky. through. I'm so sorry, y'all. Rocking out with you guys. Yes, man. yes. King Create did some beautiful art for the Chicharrones tonight. So now we're gonna run it down the line, like Rabbit said. Ignore my earring. Yeah, yeah. We got DJ Zone on the one. <laughs> That's right, man. Hey, um, you you guys been uh making your rounds, you know, uh with the shows and everything, man. Speak on it, man. Some of the live spots you guys been hitting, you guys been all over, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we travel all around the world, man. <laughs> Good reason. No, we're not scared of them. We're here. They're in the building with us. Man. How did the chicharrones come about? What's the history on this fabulous group? Uh, well, I mean, I guess we uh, we met each other in South by Southwest in uh, in Austin, Texas, uh, when they weren't really putting on uh, hip hop acts. They were, we were. It was us, Atmosphere, and Tumex. I think is what I remember in like 2001. Both him and I knew of each other because we've been told about each other. From and a mutual like, friend. From a mutual friend. It was like, man, you got to get down with sleep. And he was like telling sleep, man, you got to get down with Josh Martinez. That guy, like, you guys would sound good together. And yeah, that was actually Soul from Anticon. Right. He, he wanted to make a single. He was like, yo, you guys' voices will blend good together. <laughs> we'll do with the style of the Beyond single on a B side with you guys. Like, they, they wanted to put it out on Anticon. And uh, so I checked out uh, Josh Martinez. I didn't know what he looked like or anything. I, I actually... Kind of in my mind, imagine him looking like Cholo Lancinco <laughs> when I heard him, but I thought he was like all emotional and shit. <laughs> so like, I, I really liked him, you know. And, uh, we met at South by Southwest. We found out we only lived a few hours from each other, so we came to visit and we made an uh, opposite affair. That was the first time we ever made together. And Josh went home and threw it on the internet just to see what happened. And it just caught fire. And we started touring with each other. And we, we would uh, open up for each other. take turns opening up for each other and then we'd end the night with the like three or four songs that we made together and then we just became did, brothers. Did, I mean, be, really besides it. you know becoming brothers through that did you get the feedback from the crowd they wanted to hear more of you oh, guys yeah, together yeah, yeah people really, yeah. always really loved the show people always gave us good vibes we, we, we never felt like we were able to get on uh, like a big platform to kind of show like rip to people it but you know on our own steam we managed to, to start packing out rooms and it would start out with like 50 people, we'd go there, again, there'd be a couple hundred people, and then there'd be like 400 people, you know, so every time we go back, it would just get more and more, bigger, bigger, um, just, you know, time goes on, you get older, we started to come together, a couple years later, like, we're in business together, like, we do everything together, he's basically my sister. <laughs> that is so dope. That's what my so, wife calls him. <laughs> yeah, right. So when you guys lived a few miles apart from each other, wh- how many miles specifically? Because I thought one of you was from Canada. That's that's me. Okay. So, we he's he's down playing close distance. to me. Close uh, to me. It was it's like six hours drive. So oh, that's it's not like, bad. I mean, considering, and at the time, I mean. It was just easy to fly out of Portland. It was easy to fly. I lived in Vancouver up in Canada. Okay. And after we met in Texas, it was clear that we were going to roll together. One of the things probably that like kind of makes us a better group than individuals is both of us are not huge fans of being on stage by ourselves. Uh, it's nice being over there with your brother. It's nice that having interactions where you can do more than just kind of like, you know, perform until you're blue in the face. It's nice to have someone to turn it over to who has a different sound or different style or different inflection. So a lot of it was like 
we did well solo, but there was something to be said for just that interaction that came from working together and what we could accomplish more when we really kind of came together. It, it's just way more fun. Yeah, more fun. Like by yourself, like my music's like kind of gloomy, you know what I mean? So, so I'm, uh, you call it melancholy, melancholy hope? That's what <laughs> Zone was calling Melancholy it. hope. Zoe, that's what Zone was calling it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so it cool. Me, you know? <laughs> it seems like so many dope things happen in Texas. Do you guys have a following in Texas we that's do. like totally different than the yeah. individual followings that you guys have? We have a big following in Texas. We used to do like an annual boat party at South by Southwest, and it was always a private show. We were like the, the special guest, and we'd dress up in weird costumes, and, <laughs> and, and we'd sell it out every year. Every show we play in Austin always full. Denton, we played in Midland. Like Midland. I mean, we played everywhere in Texas. You know? We'll play every nook and cranny of every state that we could possibly do just to like present our music. You know, like that was the only way we knew how to like show people our music was to take it to them. This is before Facebook and MySpace and all that. Stuff. Oh yeah, so no, just- and something about those those platforms that are out like the South by Southwest. But I've heard of other cats, and they they've lived like over here and then they end up linking up over there where they realize like we got more in common than we thought and, and there's us. a yeah there's yeah, a lot of totally. things a lot of things have linked from uh, from those uh ventures man. we grew up completely different from each other and um i grew up in new mexico he grew up in canada and, you know but there are some similarities like we both say a which is like different you know what i mean like, a different way, <laughs> yeah, a yeah, different yeah. way. My, mine is in the form of a question like yeah. it's a beautiful day <laughs> eh? <laughs> and his is more declarative. It's a beautiful day. Hey! <laughs> this isn't how it sounds, but he's working on it still. You know what I mean? Working on it. I like it. Like, we're, we're night and day different upbringings, but we come together and, and he's honestly become my best friend in this world. Like, I don't tr- There's nobody in the world I trust more than this man. I don't trust him at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I trust him. <laughs> you know he's on the right track. I got good judgment. He's a smart guy, you know? Like, so when did the name come about, and who decided what it was going to be? That was me. Give him credit. In my neighborhood, I, like, there used to be a bunch of like mariachi bands in my neighborhood, and they would always have these like trailers with their equipment and stuff, and they would have like funny names. Like, it would be like the Royal Flush, and their logo would be like a toilet bowl or something, you know what I mean? And, so, like, and for me, I wanted to have like a funny name because Josh was funny, and he was like getting me out of my serious zone because I was always really serious when I, as an artist and uh, I wanted something funny that like that like hinted would understand if I said it you know but also he was Josh Martinez and it just, I don't know it made, just made sense and I said Chicho Ramos one day in the back and he loved it and it stuck and the weirdest hip hop name you know but when, when I say it especially to, to uh, you know uh, they, they laugh right away. Like, they oh, love it. Who doesn't like, love yeah, chicharrones? They get the joke. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's amazing for me to like, kind of carry some of my culture in a different way. You know, like comedy almost. Here's my next question. How do you eat your chicharrones? Between <laughs> chili, everything. All right, <laughs> all right. I'm from New Mexico, you know. Like, um, everything green chili. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Josh, how do you eat chicharrones? Uh, I eat his. <laughs> <laughs> That's, and he's not lying. He eats everything. I, I, I've, I've taken Josh home and like introduced him to all my family and cousins. And, like he's he's got in doctor. So he, and now and now he knows, you know. And he took me to Canada and did the same thing. Hey, I, I, I'm <laughs> did you have fun? Hey? Now. I, oh, I, I go to Timmy Holes all the time and go get some Ronnies, you know. Oh. <laughs> you know already I'm picked it up, Canada. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. Impressive. <laughs> that was like a proud dad moment hats right off, there. That's off, like, little fella. That was pretty good. Mine's good Canada than right there. <laughs> I, I, I made him homesick just now. He wanted to go to Timmy Homesick. Homesick. Yeah. Home Speaking of <laughs> homesick, home we do have a friend who wasn't able to make it with us, so we want to play a video oh, yes. featuring our friend. Yeah, this and is we want to give him a awesome. shout out. Yeah, this is my best friend in the world on top of this guy. I grew up, this is my first rap partner. This is Henri Osborne from Dark Time Sunshine, Old Dominion. One of the dopest MCs on the planet, if you ask me. And uh, let's get into it. That's dope. Yeah. Let's do it. When we come back, we're going to talk about the producer. We're going to talk about where the beat came from and how we shot the video. Let's get this one. It's something about some sunshine. Dark Time Sunshine. Dark Time Sunshine. That's right. Hey? Charona is in the building with the, with, on the B side. Let's Melancholy go. Melancholy Hope. If I 
why don't you cry about it? Much more tame, Tawny Katane. Cry about it. Write your name upon a white snake with a sharpie. Put a plus with her name right next to yours. Malarkey. But it isn't, so you etch it in a tree in hopes that everybody stumbles upon it when walking home. See, want everybody to know you going steady like a plastic surgeon's hand. Are you ready for the rice and confetti? Mix it in with this rain, why don't you cry about it? The augmented pleasure that goes with pain. Hocus pocus, aim, she a good dame. Locomotive, train all aboard again. Marty McFly, Nike, party of five Mikey's. Electric chair ride going once or twice. Lightning, for shock value, the how no longer happens. We mean it this time, let's go, Dorothy, get them heels clacking. I took my time now to think about what I've become, become. Perhaps you change me. Look at this lady. Are you listening? Can't you hear me calling? I need to know. Photographic memory, Rooney Boogie Monster. I won't forget the name, no whimpering of a true imposter. They wanna cry about it. Have you come a running with a chandelier to put upon their neck? Good will hunting. I heard that you up way before the critic chimed in at a frequency only a dog could hear. So I climbed in, smothered that wolf mother with a sad pillow till the cries of the lambs began to teeter on crescendo. Sad day when I gotta use mass say. Skate around the issue while fence touche. Peculiar sportsman in search of the fox. My bass and ham still Baskerville. Sipping on scotch to find the things in life will never cry about. Only watch, listen. To learn and bet on horse number 717 a lot. Give it a go, gentle women, no fear. So we're forced to focus on thugging like Lib and Freddie Gibbs. I'm gonna cry, open the sky. Because I know your black magic is a white lie.
All right, y'all. We are back. Zara. That means quiet on the set over here. That's <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> no, don't Ooh. mind us. <laughs> we just watched Never Cry Wolf, so that was pretty dope. Yeah, that was by Dark Time Sunshine. Shout out Henri Osborne, Zavala on the beat. Uh, check out uh, On Oz on uh on Instagram, yeah. On Oz 717. Check him out. Bye. Dope, dope. Yeah. What else been going on, man? Catch us up. Y'all are busy. We've Stay busy. busy. Shout out to Herman. Keeping everybody busy. Yo, shout out Herman Watson. So it, it was kind of it was kind of trip. Uh, I found out that he was in the Northwest, kind of near near me. So I, I reached out and was like, oh, Herman, let's hang out. Because I've known this guy for a long, long time. He's been my friend for a really long time. Hey, we've known him for a minute, yeah, too. Yeah. He's been repping here at our so spot we, for a we long time. Again, it was just Ever since then, it's been busy all of a sudden again. Yeah, yeah. You know, so in a good uh, way. Let's talk about in the a, project. In a really good way. Yeah. So, uh, first project w- is the new Teacher Ones record. Um, we're doing an EP. Uh, Ike Owens, uh, rest in peace, uh, yeah. left some music behind uh, that we're gonna we're gonna turn into an EP. Uh, it's gonna be produced by Brockett Parsons. And he made the first song already, um, and it's amazing. Uh, we've never done anything like this before. It's a different sound for us. And it's really exciting and the energy is there's just something there it, it's like magic you know when you when you hold magic you can feel it, it vibrates a little different you know and, and so i know that we got something really good on our hands we've been doing tons of new recordings i, I just did a joint uh with uh already the rugged man chuck d ice t and rapid forte um there's a who are they <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, 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 this guy, what? he said it like, no problem. Just did some shit with you some know, legends. I mean, hey, my G, that's dope. I have personally been part of. That's dope. You know, so, like, it, it was like my little kid dream come yeah, true. Yeah, right? You know I mean, like, yeah. I, I lo- I've loved these MCs since I was a kid. I've been in this, I've loved hip hop since I can remember, you know, and I'm 47 now. So, like, I've been in it for a minute. And so, when I when I heard Ice T and Chuck D and Forte and Yo and Ari bodied that song, you know. I bet. Completely. So it's been exciting. We got a bunch of new music coming out. We got a new album coming out, um, and a bunch of new wacky features that I don't think anybody's gonna really see coming. We're doing an EP with a special guest. Um, I probably should keep it under wraps, right? Yes, you should. Yeah, we're gonna keep it under wraps, <laughs> but when it comes Herman out, just nodded his head. It's oh. gonna be a shocker. I'll tell you that nobody's gonna see this this collaboration coming. So we'll keep them guessing for now, but uh, awesome. Yeah, I think we. Hey, should. props to you on all the work. But just being mad busy—that's a good thing, right there. Oh yeah. Even when I wasn't busy, I was busy trying to be busy. Like, hey, <laughs> will you book us? Okay. Hey, will you book? Okay. We'll work for Chicharrones. <laughs> <laughs> we tried that one. <laughs> I'm still trying to lose weight from that job. <laughs> and I mean, you didn't think you think we're excited. You should talk to Brockett about it because I hear he's really excited about this. Oh, yeah. We definitely need to talk to Brockett. He is in the building and he brought his keyboard, y'all. He's so already are, been vibing out the yes, whole time, he too. Has. Man. Thank you for providing us the background music for Thank the you. portion of the show too. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, you obviously you've been mad busy as well. Um, speak about some of the music that you got coming and that you got uh, out already as well. Wow, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Just want to say thank you, thank sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, the the latest thing that I just did, yeah, a friend of mine. Uh, he's a rapper. He goes by the name of Dat Boy Rick from New York City. And he just did his first uh, single that he's released in a long time, and it features the game. Wow. Nice. And uh, I produced the track. And that's streaming right now. It just came out like four days ago. That's hot. It's, uh, it's actually streaming really well right now, so I'm actually uh, really excited about that. Amazing. That featuring the game. That's right, man. Very cool. Are you on keyboards for that, or did you produce the I whole thing? the track, yeah. Wow, so that's amazing. Played, all the, played everything. Whoa, so regarding your just inventions in general and and how you innovate when it comes to music, I do want to talk a little bit about that custom piece, that instrument no one can get their hands on, because we're going to show it in a little while. So how did that come about? Okay, so that's called uh, the Piano Arc. Okay. And uh, I've been playing... um, I just finished my fifth world tour playing keyboards for Lady Gaga. Um, I play in her band, and I've been playing with her since 2010. So after the first tour, 
uh, I was just trying to brainstorm of how to come up with a better stage presence, essentially, to be able to justify being around one of the greats. Right? Yes. You know, anybody, everybody wants to play on a big stage like that. Let's just put it that way. So I wanted to do something really special. Uh, I think she's tremendous. And I was just inspired to try to do something that I'd never tried to do before. So I would say this. Uh, I came up with the idea and uh, I called a couple of friends and we made a team of engineers. Uh, these guys that actually built it are monsters. They're so good at what they do. They're the Piano Arc team. But I, I have to say, this keyboard wouldn't exist without Lady Gaga because that was the inspiration behind it. You know when you're around greatness, you want to achieve greatness. That's so real. I, I had to step my game up. Let's just put it that way. Wow. <laughs> Shout out right. to House of Gaga for supporting a dream and making it a reality. That Thanks is amazing. Thanks for sharing that with us, too. Yeah, no, it's, it's a pretty deep story. And, um, you know, it's kind of very serendipitous how it came about. I never would have imagined that I would have done something like this when I was young. So it's super cool. I love it. And I love that you brought a keyboard with you. I know you're traveling and obviously you're not going to be able to bring the piano arc, but I imagine that you're going to really blow us away with your abilities, even with a keyboard like this. Okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. I definitely look forward to jamming with the guys. And we have like a, a real special collaboration, as they said. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about this track. Give a shout out to Herman for putting the whole thing together. It's Herman Watson's vision. And uh, Ike Owen, the, you know, rest in peace, yeah. former keyboardist for Mars Volta, Absolutely. as a keyboardist myself. Um, if I can contribute to this project, uh, it just makes some great music in his legacy. It's beautiful. And I think what's yeah, great yeah. about you bringing this small keyboard is that you can inspire other people to work and start with something small and still be able to produce really great things using imagination, using inspiration, and not have to worry about having like, you know, 60 something keys or, you know, a Steinway, I don't even know, but like, you know, you're, you're gonna tear it up right now and this is something you literally carried on a plane. Oh yeah, these days, uh, obviously with, a, with a, a pretty simple controller, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Out here though, um, today, we're just gonna jam a little bit and keep it pretty <laughs> hey, simple. And you, you know, know what's old cool? School. You know what's cool, Doug, is is like that's like been a basis of our show. In a couple months, we're gonna go on our 12 year anniversary of this platform right here. We've had bands, we've had artists, we've had directors, different things come through here. But we've always loved that part of just just people coming and jamming out with us and doing that live shit, man. We've always appreciated it. So thank you guys. Man. Thank you so much. Who's jamming to your right? Who's gonna oh, help yeah. you to make this music Econ. happen today? You said nah, nah. <laughs> Yeah, who, who is it? Introduce hey, yourself. Hey, what's up? Uh, DJ Zone here. How you doing? I uh, love it. Yeah. On the ones and ones. On the ones and ones and ones. But, but making it happen. Yeah, you know, doing he even what we can. spoke on that before we started. He's like, I just need this, this, and this. We're going to make gonna it We're going to handle it. We're going to make it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, you know, I've done more with less. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I hope y'all are ready. We're going to watch one more video. When yeah, we come yeah. back, we got a live performance by the Chicharrones. Yes, man. And this <laughs> is going to be dope, man. Turn it up. Pump your speakers Let's up. Let's get go. it, y'all. Be shy.
For a special treat, Chicharron is in the building. That's right, we got Brock and Parsons. Oh, we're getting live with it right now. That we are. This is an exclusive, y'all. You ain't never gonna hear this again. So let's go. One, two, three, four. You ready? You ready? All right, then. This is about genres and songs and music. Punk rock, hip hop, speed metal, slam poet, surf rock, black god, death metal, candy raver, skater rock, backpacker, hardcore, deep pal, new school, next school, true school, out of school, out of day, out of dope, out of hate, hoop spring, buzzers that get trotted and grabs the, the brass, brass ring. ring, media, spotlight, interviews, all night, cell phone, home phone, email, female, groupies, herbs, nerds, homo, useless, useless, shameless, promo, acidic, fanatic, blow hard, asthmatic, pretty boy, city boy, dope fiend, drug addict, sit and duck, lame duck, duck sit, ruck sit, Chin up, give it up, pin it up, pass that, mic cord, turntable, best acts, oh pro, nice new shoes, track pants, and afro coasters, floaters, promotions, promoters, lashes, flyers, sexy, supporters, and shows for recorders, capturing the moment, and convert them with encoders, coasters, flyers, promotions, suppliers, actors, liars, drama queen, drama me, stomach upset, up chuck, up rock, I'm up shit creep, and the lead don't stop, but teach a wrong class, so scholastic, make great songs and look fantastic, on analog metal tape, wax, a plastic we weed, focus, the dopeness, from opus, the classic, that Chicha rooms are so scholastic, make great songs and look fantastic on analog metal tape, wax, a plastic we weed, focus, the dopeness, from opus, the classic, breathe in, taste like, close your eyes, see that, take another breath, yep, one time for stress, Bet. why bother, shit, fuck it, let it be, do something, we came to prove something, we make you move, but it don't add up, make dollars, need work, McDonald's, me, take away, bam, ricochet, spit, swallow, shit, taka, tick, tock, rap, rock a Flip. Follow me all the way to Moss? us where we get Props. Take you with the trainer so. Hey, wait a minute Pause Old money Drug money Make money Money, money, money. Teach wrong. Take it home Sick of things Methadone Can't accept my man Moby said it We were born at Tear it up Let it go Take a moment to appreciate the music We're here It's all good into it now Hey, you Feeling blue They do huh. Feeling blue Join the like club Bugaboo Get lost See you Nah, I get it Stick around Listen to the sick of sound Take a sick to get it But we finally put it out So we eat it up Drink it down Spike with it With a little crown Sing it loud Everybody Bring now the, the chicharrones are so scholastic Make great songs and look fantastic on Analog metal tape wax <laughs> plastic We focus the dopeness from opus The classic the chicharrones are so scholastic Make great songs and look fantastic on Analog metal tape wax a plastic We focus the dopeness from opus the classic From opus the classic From opus the classic From opus the classic DJ zone and rock and melt the plastic <laughs> Cause you're poor as the news, of course I induce the message 
going into one more or not. You have plenty of time since you're missing one guest. Let's do it. We can just get into a jam session, I'm guessing. I'm just having fun right now, getting off these transgressions that are on my chest, you know. Teaching a lesson to some of these kids, they can understand this is the ultimate profession, yeah. I'm doing it because I love it. It's hard to stomach for some kids, they watch sleep plummet. Yo, look into the cameras. 
what I'm being told to So that's okay, sometimes they gotta hold you and tell you how to do it Especially when the music is the only thing you ever knew And you're kinda confused when the lights, camera, action come on But that's okay, sleep can rock it to the break of dawn I got rocket parts behind me, you find me getting grimy on the microphone And understand there's no one like me, I come from the Northwest One of the best to ever do it, love music I got my man DJ Zone, his hair got you confused when you see it pink and rainbow Hey, there I go again, I'm having fun, just that little poet knowing, man Yo, come over here, Josh Martinez, let's have fun, let's get it down Cause my man's a genius, I met him at South by Southwest He is one of the best friends that I ever met We get it off the chest all the time, we start getting mad when we stuck in a band That's okay, he knows that I can hold the chain down if I have to I'm short like tattoo, but no, the plane, the plane, see I'm crazy When I get it off the brain, no chain, swinging back and forth I'm not flashy, but that's okay, don't catch me in a bad mood get waxy because sleep is kind of crazy with the flow though i'm having fun i'm not your everyday jojo maybe i ate a couple too many though though that's okay i never wrap it down slow mo no i'm always talking so fast i outlast the rest i shine i'm so bad at not just kidding but sometimes i brag a lot that's okay i brought my own bag of pot to smoke at the b-side you can see me rhyme i having so much fun all the trees we climb in oregon it's crazy we Design the newest, latest, greatest strains that you all want to. Smoking, we got you. We love it. Having so much fun, I grow just like my stomach. My reputation, yo, it precedes me. I go back and now on the B side TV. Yo, check it out on the YouTube. That boob sleep, he's that dude. Sometimes I get rude and show bo. Come over here, Josh, and slow mo. Yo, yo, this is just a promo. I'm getting started having fun with waiting, yo. Hesitating, yo, I rock the nation, yo I'm just playing and never contemplating what to say next Yo, that kid sleeps amazing, yo I don't stop it, I rock any toxic I'm once in a lifetime like you saw Haley's Comet, no That's only every 75 years and that's okay Every day I drink 75 beers when I'm on stage with Josh Canadians are crazy, huh Yo, they always eating gravy on their fries, it confuses me and that's okay, because sometimes it amuses me I go to Timmy Hortons and eat some Ronnie's Sleep so nice, everybody stay calm See, it's a takeover, we're having fun I had to go home, my wife gave me a makeover Said, sleep, you're getting a little chubby But that's okay, my wife still loves me And my kids, they climb on me And I've seen Henri earlier, but right now He's on his way on the plane And probably will land right about tomorrow because <laughs> it's a long flight yeah <laughs> and i got all night i'm out of sight like satellites and government spies in our circles they don't got our virtues i saw it last night i'm out past your curfew when the beat changes it gets me mad and angry sometimes it's so hard to contain see it starts bleeding i start hulking out i'm having so much fun what the fuck's coming out my mouth i don't know i just say it spray it whatever huh, it doesn't matter huh, i know better than to do it but music got me moving like a rubik's confusing my movement loosened when i get to it yeah huh, i put put the screws to it better the hammer than the nail when i abuse it yep huh, pass it back to my man zone that's okay i get into my back Bad zone. They say I am short and handsome. Back in the day before I got a cup ton under the shirt, it's worth a hundred bucks. I'm having so much fun right now. I'm getting stuff. I'm not stuck ever. Too clever to lose. Yo, pass the microphone just like it was food. I gotta turn it down. I'm hurting now. Yo, I'm having so much fun. Yo, that early clown sleep. I clown around, but it's okay. I'm sick. I'm having so much fun. Yo, peace. I'm Chris. Sleep. Yeah. Alright y'all, Chicharones in the building, baby. You know what's up, Rock Pars is over here. He tore it up as well. This is how we do it every single fourth Monday on the Oracle Edition B-Side Show. It's an all elements party. Rabbit. Thank let you me know guys, your feelings, man, for baby. coming through, man. Herman, man. We we've known you for a cool minute. Always bringing the, the real live art form over here on our platform, man. We appreciate you, bro. Hey, uh, every fourth Monday, make sure you guys tap in. Uh, we got other shows, uh, the Rabbit Season Rabbit Podcast. Rabbit Season Podcast, uh, baby. We got a couple more coming. Uh, Danny, let them know one more time where they can catch you every single week. Of course, y'all. Check out every single Thursday, Oratory Glory. I'm going to chart the artist, and the spirit is going to tell the story. That's right. 7 to 8 p.m. on Thursdays. 
101.5 FM KQBH banging with Danny K. And every single Saturday, we cannot forget 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. We get down and dirty with Danny K. Bang, bang. Bad day killer right here, man. Every single fourth Monday, the Oracle edition right here. Shout out the whole squad. Shea Whitey in the back over there. Man, though, we got Kevin, man. Shots fired in the building. What up, Stopes? Raj. We see you. Yes, man. Funko yeah. Cholo. Baby. Yeah, yeah. In the building, man. Yep. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. And we appreciate you guys. Peace. Peace. Let's go out like this. Peace.